Now, if you don't want to start the new year off with a traffic ticket, pay attention to this story. Starting tomorrow, it's going to be illegal to drive while talking on a cell phone. Uh, Teresa Tang has some tips to help you buy those hands-free options to keep those calls coming. Teresa? Well, Gloria, with 20 different kinds of hands-free headsets ranging in price from $10 to $150, it can be pretty overwhelming coming to a place like this. So I talked to a technology expert, and he says shoppers should be thinking about three things when they go in. Comfort, noise reduction, and talk time. Now, first of all, comfort. If you plan on using your headset quite a bit, you should buy a model that has an adjustable earpiece or silicone inserts so that it feels right. If it doesn't feel right, you're probably not going to use it. Second of all is noise reduction. And that is the number one complaint of Bluetooth users saying they can't hear the person that they're talking to. So if you spend a little bit more money, you'll get technology that reduces things like the wind and ambient sound. And of course, uh, finally, talk time. If you're a heavy phone user, it's probably worth spending a bit extra to get a battery that lasts a bit longer. But if all this sounds like too much of a hassle and you don't want to put anything in your ear, there are other options. The other end of the spectrum are, are, are a visor mount. And these typically would clip onto your visor and then it would give you a microphone in your car that you can speak to. Um, and they will pair with your phone quite easily, just like the rest of these do, but it's a much bigger battery, so you don't have to charge it as often. Okay, so is it one um, Bluetooth or one mechanism per person? I mean, when you think about families, nearly everyone has a cell phone and costs can certainly add up, so what can they do? Well, family members uh, or families with more than maybe a couple of kids, they should invest in a device that has something called multi-point technology. And that allows for up to eight people to hook up to one device, which means you can leave that Bluetooth in the car and whoever's in the car will, will automatically be connected. So that will save some money. But you may actually have a Bluetooth device at home and not even know it. I'll tell you about that coming up at 6. Gloria? Thanks very much. That's the CBC's Teresa Tang. <laughs> Still ahead, talking while driving. Some hands-on help for your hands-free options. Well, starting tomorrow, it's going to be illegal to drive while talking on your cell phone. So thousands of hands-free devices have been sold just in the last week. But what should you look for when you head to the store? Teresa Tang has more on which one is right for you. Teresa? Well, Gloria, the countdown is on not only to a new year, but also to a new law. And that's why he uh, headsets are flying off the shelves. But before you buy one, there are a few important things you need to know. For some, a right start to the new year first means a stop here. There are only a few hours left until it's illegal to talk on a phone while driving. Getting caught will set you back $167, more than enough to buy one of these hands-free devices. But with over 20 different brands ranging from $10 to $150, it can be overwhelming. This technology expert says shoppers have to consider three key things before buying. The first is comfort. So you want to find one that has an adjustable earpiece if, if you're going with the in-ear type. Um, a lot of these ones come with uh, little silicone inserts that allow you to change the size and everyone's ear is different and so if it's not in fully you're not going to be able to hear very well and you're not going to use it. The biggest complaint is sound quality. Higher prices mean better technology to deal with noise. They have crystal clear technology so it sounds like you're in a room with the person all the way down to you're in a tin can. So it really, that's where price is really going to matter. And finally, talk time. The average device will let you talk for five hours. Heavy users will pay more for longer battery life. But for the cost conscious, there are other options, including seeing whether you already own a device with Bluetooth capability. A lot of these GPS devices actually support uh, mobile phones, uh, so you can actually pair your phone with the GPS device, and then when you get an incoming call, your GPS unit will actually display uh, your, your, who's calling, and in some cases, depending on the device, like this one, will actually speak your call display, and, and you can actually talk to it. It has a built-in speaker phone. Uh, yes. And more people in the household could actually mean more savings. There's a technology called multipoint, which allows you to, to pair multiple uh, cell phones with one Bluetooth uh, device. And uh, some of these can support up to eight different cell phones on one, one thing. So if you have a, a family car, for example, you want to just leave the headset in the car, uh, you can have all your family's headsets in there. Whichever phone's in the car will actually ring the device. So what if you don't have a Bluetooth headset then? Can people still use their phones? 
You can still use your phone, but it has to be uh, on speaker mode. You have to have an earpiece and the one touch dialing has to be activated. If you don't want to put something in your ear, you can also buy a speaker that attaches onto your sun visor. Now, if you haven't picked anything up yet, you still have time because there's a one month grace period, meaning tickets won't be given out until February 1st. Gloria? Okay, so no phone to your ear beginning tomorrow. Yes. Gotcha. Thanks very much. That's Teresa Tang reporting live tonight.